we're back at the Paramount in New York City. Opened in September of 1991. Tonight, the third boxing card. Tracy Patterson taking on Angel Levi Mayor. And that's coming up in the junior featherweight division. Right now, let's take a look at this young man who is 43 and 2 as a pro. Tracy Harris Patterson is looking to the future, dreaming about what might be down the road. One thing's for sure, Patterson is getting a title shot in the junior featherweight division as the number one contender for the WBC championship. Patterson looks to follow in the footsteps of his dad, the great Floyd Patterson, who twice ruled the heavyweight division. Tracy has honed his skills under Floyd's watchful eye in upstate New York for the past 15 years. Tracy has been patient, and now it looks like his patience is paying off. He's been guaranteed in writing a shot at the WBC crown in the springtime. Daniel Zaragoza is the current WBC kingpin, but he must get by Thierry Jacob in March before he takes on Patterson. Until the big day arrives, Tracy will concentrate on what got him here, hard work. But his mind is clearer now, knowing he's going for a title belt. I do have the winner, and I've waited a long time. I think it's, it's you know, it's well overdue, you know, and uh, I'm really looking forward to fighting whoever wins that fight. Who would you rather fight, Jacob or Zaragoza? Well, in a way, I would like to, you know, fight Zaragoza because he's more of a name. He's been around longer. He's uh, had, uh, he's been in many championship fights, so people recognize Zaragoza. So it's a bigger name, and it's always good to fight the best. Why do you say a title fight is long overdue? Well, now because I've been number one contender now for uh, over a year. And uh, I think that, over, well, it's been over a year. Now it's going on two years, in fact, as being number one, con number one contender in WBC. So uh, based on that fi fact, I think it's well overdue. You're 27 years of age now. Is it positive or negative that you've waited so long for a title shot? Well, I think it's positive, you know, because... Uh, I believe that good things happen to those who wait, you know, and I feel that once I do get that title fight and win the title, it's going to be damn hard to take it away from me. 13 wins in a row for Tracy Harris Patterson, number one ranked for the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF at 122 pounds, which is either junior featherweight or super bantamweight. Thank you, Big Boots. Still the same. Still 122 pounds. Tonight, he is weighing in at 126 pounds, and there's his opponent, Angel Levi Mayor. Born in Venezuela, now living in Miami, Florida. And Gil, he's had some big fights over the years. He is 0-2 in world title fights. Well, you know, his claim to fame is the fact that he went 15 rounds with the great Asubio Pedroza. That, that was a feat in itself. But again, it was in 1984. Right. And he fought Mauricio Seca. Again, he got stopped in nine rounds. That was in 89. Now, let's see. <laughs> Did he continue to regress? This is 1992. We'll find out tonight. He has had an 11-year professional career. Right now, for the pre-fight introductions, let's go up to ring announcer, Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for 10 rounds, and it's in a junior featherweight division. Referee is Luis Rivera. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the purple trunks. He weighed in at an even 128 pounds. This gentleman has 23 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws, with 8 knockouts. A native of Maricaibo, Venezuela, and now residing in Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the Big Apple, Angel Levy Mayor. Mayor. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. Now he tipped in at an even 125 pounds. This young man, professionally, has 43 wins, two losses with 32 knockouts. He is currently ranked number one by all major sanctioning bodies. Ladies and gentlemen, from Highland, New York, here is Tracy Harris Patterson. Patterson. So Tracy Patterson in a bout before what will be a world championship bout next. He awaits the winner of the March 20 title fight between WBC champion Daniel Zaragoza of Mexico and number eight challenger Thierry Jacob in Calais, France. 
But as Gil Clancy mentioned at the top of our show, there is no such thing as a team. You have to worry about every single thing. And tonight, Tracy Patterson meeting a veteran, Angel Levi Mayor. 31 fights for Mayor, but his last fight was in December of 1990. That was a 10-round win over Kelvin Seabrooks in Miami. And Seabrooks, a former world champion. Still, that is a long time ago. Fifteen months to be exact. Patterson, meanwhile, his last fight, November 15th, 1991. First round TKO over Fernando Ramos of Mexico in Charleston. Patterson, as always, says he's in top shape for this fight. going to the body. Patterson has such a variety of punches. He can hit you with just about anything. Those good body punches, sweet and straight right hand, good left hook. He has it all. Luis Rivera, the third man in the ring. Bounce schedule for Candler. Patterson nailing him, and down goes Angel Levi Mayor. That's what happens when you've been out of the ring for a long time, Bruce. You just are not prepared for anything like that. And believe me, he's out of it right now. A crushing left hook by Tracy Patterson now looking to finish him off here in the opening round. Patterson with knockout power. 32 KOs in his career. Down he goes again. Mayor down to the canvas for a second time. And he is groggy. He's been out of, out of activity for too long, Bruce. And Patterson said he had just wants to end it right here. And to Mayor's credit, he is trying to punch back. He, yeah, there he now goes. he goes, and that is it. It's over. It did not take long. Tracy Patterson exciting the crowd here at the Paramount. Getting up on the ropes, and the fans responded. He was so focused that he just unloaded. Well, he, he has such a great arsenal, Bruce. He can hit you with just about anything. And take a guy that's been out of the ring for quite some time to face that kind of an onslaught in the very beginning. He just he just wasn't ready. He got left at the starting blocks. And if Mayor might have been able to survive the first round, who knows what kind of fight we could have had. Well, you have to remember, in Aaron Davis's uh, last fight, the ring rust was there, and it took four or five rounds for that ring rust to gradually, you could just see it uh, falling away from him. I don't think that uh, Mayor could have survived a very long uh, with the amount of time he's been off. And folks, that's 14 wins in a row for Tracy Patterson, and next he'll get the world title fight. First knockdown, Bill. Here's that left hook right on the butt, and down goes Mayor. It didn't really seem that hard a punch, Bruce, but again, when you've been out of combat for such a long time, now there's the second one. Here we go, let's take a look at it. Sets him up with a jab, right hand. There's the left hook again, and down again. And then, Gil, he finished him off. One more look at that second knockdown. All right, let's take a look at it. Straight right hand. Left hook, right hand again. But it was the left hook that did all the damage. But you see the way Patterson puts those punches together. That left hook automatically comes behind that right hand. The Tracy Patterson, little Caesar, weighing in at 126 pounds tonight, has only lost twice in his professional career to Jeffrey Franklin in Las Vegas, a disputed decision. At the Stevie Cruz in Atlantic City, he lost a split decision in that one to Cruz, the former WBA featherweight champion. Is he ready? Is he ready for the big one? Is he ready? You're not really asking that question, are you, Bruce? No, I'm, I'm kind of saying it uh, by knowing the response. Okay. 27 you. years of age, Tracy Patterson has waited patiently. The adopted son of former heavyweight champion Floyd Patterson. And he tunes his skills up in upstate New York. Let's go to Ed Darien for the official particular. Ladies and gentlemen, the three knockdown rule in effect, therefore referee Luis Rivera stops this bout 
at two minutes and 15 seconds of the first round, and the winner by a TKO. And his next fight will be for the championship. Here is Tracy Harris Patterson. Patterson. Number one in all three sanctioning bodies, and with good reason. Floyd Patterson, the two-time heavyweight champion, and his dad very happy for the young man came to him at the age of 11 in upstate New York, and the two of them have grown together as a team. We'll be back. Fight night continues from the Paramount at Madison Square Garden, where Tracy Patterson just moments ago improved to 44 and 2 at 33 knockouts. The three knockdown rule in effect. He dropped Angel Levi Mayor three times in that opening round, and at 2:15 of the first, it is official. Let's go to Gil Clancy right now in the ring. Hey, congratulations, guys. You know, I guess your father worked you just as hard for this fight as for any other fight, and then it's over so quick. Were you disappointed? Nah, not really, Gil. You know, the, the sooner you can get him out of there, the better. You know, I'm, I'm going into my world championship fight. Uh, I didn't sustain a cut or anything like that, so I'm ready. You know, a lot of people call these fights tune-ups, and as I said, you know, I know I used to worry, and I know Floyd's worried. You have to worry about getting butted, hurting your hand, hurting your ankle, anything. Were you nervous at all before this fight, Floyd? Uh, yes, I was very nervous before this one, simply because it was a change of an opponent, uh, I believe uh, about 10 days ago. So when they chose this guy, I looked at his record. He had a very impressive record, so I was kind of worried. Well, you know, here's a guy that fought for the championship of the world with the great Eusebio Pedroza, went the entire 15 rounds, fought another world champion, went into the 10th round. Yet you took him out in one round, and both of these guys were featherweights, which I say that this guy's going to be the featherweight champion of the world. What about that? Well, someday that might be true, Gil, but right now we're concentrating on the 122-pound uh, championship, and uh, then we'll jump up to that featherweight title. Well, I think you're going to win that 122-pound championship pretty soon, and don't you keep him down there too much longer. Now let's go back to Bruce Beckett ringside. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gil. So up next, that March 20th title fight against either Zaragoza or Jacob for the championship of the world. We'll take a break and be back.